Hey everyone, Toby from Cape Gunworks here, and it's time for another Gun of the Week. So this week's Gun of the Week is none other than the SIG MCX Spear LT. I love this gun because, in my opinion, it is the closest thing to an AR without being an AR. So it's kind of one-to-one -one as far as the where the safety is, the charging handle is, the mag release is, the bolt catch is. So if you're used to the AR-15 platform, but you want to buy a modern sporting rifle that's legal in Massachusetts, the SIG MCX Spear LT might be the one for you. It's cheaper than a pre-ban and already has everything you're going to do to your pre-ban to make it modern, if you will. So it's got the M-Lock rail all the way around uh, the handguard. They changed the shape of the handguard from the prior version of the MCX to the LT Spear. It's more of like an oval shape or a teardrop shape. It feels really good in the hand. And this is something that I'm really excited about as far as Massachusetts compliance is concerned because I don't have to pin it for length anymore. It's a stock that doesn't adjust for length of pull, which may or may not make you upset because you can't pick where, where you want it pinned. But I like the fact that I only have to do one thing to it. And frankly, it's at a good length. It's kind of in that mid range. It's not all the way back or all the way collapsed. It's probably the middle somewhere. So in my opinion, it's a very good length for multi-purpose reasons. It has QD swing swivels built into the lower receiver, the stock, and of course, because of the M-lock attachment points, you can put one out on the front of the handguard for a two-point sling attachment. The break from the handguard to the upper receiver is actually way out here. So this is more like a monolithic handguard as it relates to mounting of optics. So there's no break right here where the traditional AR-15 is where the upper meets the handguard, that's way out here. So the fact is you have a very long Picatinny rail that's machined into the upper receiver. So you don't have any type of break point between the handguard and the upper receiver as far as mounting optics goes. It's got ambi safety, bolt catch, charging handle, and mag release. So both sides of the gun, they came up with this really slick bolt catch and bolt release right here on the right side of the gun. So that's interesting and cool. One of the other great features about this gun is the fact that it takes AR-15 magazines. So if you have post-ban or pre-ban AR-15 mags, they're gonna work great, whether the polymer or the Stenag metal mags, they work great in this gun. Also, one other feature is you can change calibers pretty easily with a caliber conversion kit. Uh, there's a couple screws under the handguard and you can take the barrel off and change to 300 blackout or 762 by 39. So this gun, in my opinion, probably one of the best AR alternatives that we can sell. So if you want to check it out, go to our website, capegunworks.com or rapidfireradio.us. Scroll down to Gun of the Week and use code GOW at checkout for a very special savings if you want one of these. And frankly, they just don't last. So the fact that I'm actually running a special on them is silly because it's not going to be here for long. So check it out and thanks for tuning in. I'm Toby and we'll see you on Rapid Fire Radio.